ZipRecruiter.com training videos in chief architect. This particular video, I thought I'd discuss how to put in railings on chief architect, uh, specifically a railing that I built for my clients or customers of chief architect. So if you are a chief architect user, you can go to davidmicheldesigns.com at any time, day or night. It just doesn't matter. Okay, and when you get here, you can click on Chief Architect Items, and you can view our collection of items. And for only twenty nine ninety five, forever, not a monthly charge, not a yearly charge, is twenty nine ninety five one time payment. You get all these killer symbols. Every single one of them. And look at it. Some of these work uh, as early as version 10. Like I have 300 symbols in here of um, version 10, which will also work on version X1, X2, X3, and all the future ones as well. Uh, and you also see different ones labeled here like X2 and X3 users. And if you want to see it up close, you just click on the actual symbol and they'll load. See how cool that is. So I'm going to go to page two. I'm going to scroll down towards the bottom here of page two. And I'm going to install these railings, these cool looking railings on my chief system. I'm going to show you how to install it and then how to use it. Because it is kind of tricky sometimes. So what I need to do is I need to log in. So I'm going to click here to access my downloads. And then I'm going to put in a username and password, which I already did. So it gives me full access. It's granted. So I'm going to scroll down here again to, whoops, I actually, I need to go to page two. Go to page two, scroll down here. That's the bad boy I want to download. So I'm going to click the blue link to download. And I'm going to open it right into Chief X3. Why not? It just download and install right into it. Click OK. Once the download's done, it'll open up Chief Architect and it'll put it in. So hopefully, we'll just wait here until it does do, 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 do. and let's cancel out that download that's already been downloaded minimize that oh there it is it's starting to install it then it went away then it's back anyways it's all installed and done I can go now to my library and I can go down here to my library and I'm looking for DMD railing systems and there look I've installed it twice all right so let's get going on this railing system and here I'm going to choose the straight railing you can also use deck railing tool it's the same tool same concept I'm just going to draw out a big line of it maybe going this way and this way or so <clears throat> actually let's just do one rail at a time that way we can make it go any direction we want okay so what you want to do is double click on the railing specifications go into the railings tab and in order for me to manipulate the height uh, that I want to do, I'm going to have to trick the computer into thinking it's panels. Then I'm going to go over to the newels and balusters, and now I'm going to raise up my newel height to 48 inches. So it goes a little higher. Uh, here I'm going to put this at 42 inches, and I'll leave the rest the same. I'm going to go back to the railing tool and check balusters again. So go back to balusters and let's select the specific one and click library and again go to my library um, railing systems I want my baluster I even named it baluster so you can easily find it and use it and there it's put in and then I want the newel type so I'm going to select the same location double click that and newel doo -doo -doo -doo, railing system there we go and Newell, click OK. And the size, I'm going to change the size instead of 2, I'm going to change it to more like 15. Something a little bit more appropriate. Or maybe 12, somewhere in there. OK, leave the handrail as it is for now, that's OK. I'm just going to click OK. And then let's take a 3D view of what we've done. And there's our railing system. So we can see, installed successfully. And the reason why I didn't want to draw more railings is because once that's done now, now when I create new railings like this, it'll go ahead and use those same settings so I don't have to do it over and over and over again. So, it's kind of nice. Doo -doo -ba -doo -boop -boop. Let's take a look. There it is. We don't need a ceiling over this room. That's silly. We don't need that. That's silly. And there you go. 
And there is Messing with Railings here in Chief Architect. It works the same for X2, of course, but uh, this symbol is only available in the X3 version downloaded from my website. Um, and uh, if I'm in a really friendly mood, I might be posting the X2 below the video. Maybe, just maybe, over at ChiefTutor.com. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something new, and I'll talk to you later.